I officially left my country of Russia a little more than a year ago and to be completely honest, even though I'm growing more and more distance with it and I'm very disillusioned with what Russia has become, sometimes I still miss it. And it's only logical, it's a place that I grew up in and I spent most of my life there and sometimes I do think about how nice it would be to take a little walk through St. Petersburg or Chelyabinsk right now. Well guys, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, hi guys doing today, welcome to a brand new video and in today's video guys, I am going to visit Russia in GeoGuessr. Yes, people, that is correct. If you guys are not aware of GeoGuessr, it's essentially a Google Maps guessing game. And in today's video, I, an exiled Russian, am going to be uh, basically guessing Russia. Now, I actually used to play GeoGuessr on stream back in the day, which uh, led to some interesting moments. You know oh, it. no! Oh, wait, turn around! No! What? Left! No, what? zoom out! Zoom out! No! Oh no! Oh no! We're in Auschwitz! We're in Auschwitz! Uh, yeah, so, uh, hopefully today's episode goes a little bit better. But yes, here we are on GeoGuessr. I got a map of Russia saying, Let's check out Russia. And just before we get into this, I wanna say, I'm not an expert of Russian geography, and my travel experience in Russia is pretty limited because our country is literally endless. So, no, guys, I'm not going to be becoming a Russian rainbow anytime soon. Alright, let's get into this. <laughs> it's a road, you know? Okay. Uh, this first one is too easy. Here it says Yekaterinburg, Kirov, Kazan that way, and Perim is that way. So I'm assuming this somewhere underneath Perim. Never been to Perim, but it's like the Ural region where I come from. So if you look on the map here, right? My hometown, Shlebinsk, is right here. And Perim is like. Actually, what the fuck is it? <laughs> I told you guys, my knowledge of Russian geography isn't great, so Ekaterinburg's in the north, right? So, probably heading off the road here somewhere, right? So, it's probably a major road down here somewhere. Pretty Park! 50... Oh, okay, that was actually very close to the city itself. Alright, I thought it was like on the outskirts. 57 kilometers, that's pretty fucking good. I'm very happy with that. Alright, what's the next one? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, so, uh... Hmm, looks pretty generic. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing with Russia, right? You're gonna be uh, going into a lot of these cities. It's just communist stuff, so you, like, you can't really... You can never really figure out. One thing in Russia, actually, that's useful to figure out where you are is uh, looking at license plates. Because in Russia, on license plates, we have the region. Most of the time, they are blurred, but however, sometimes you can cheese it and still see them. But I don't actually know the fucking numbers of the region, so screw that. No, this is not even like an administrative building or anything. This looks... Sakhalin Energy? Wait, 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 hold on. Sakhalin Energy. This actually may be Sakh Oh yeah, I mean, all the cars here are very Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Sakhalin, which is like uh, an island right next to Japan, I'm assuming. It has to be, because all the cars are Japanese and it's like a feature. When you go to the far east of Russia, like Vladivostok, etc., you have a lot of, you know, Japanese, Chinese imported cars there. So I guess this would be Yuzhna Sakhalinsk, maybe, right? So let's just uh, put a... 1.9. I mean, okay, to be completely honest, this is kinda too easy right now. <laughs> Just me knowing Russian and like being able to read the fucking signs is too easy right now. Alright, what the f- what is this? So, yeah man, I mean, you know with a lot of these GeoGuessr, like when you're stuck in like middle of nowhere like this, it's kinda about like which road you take. Yeah, I mean guys, this is just the, uh, you know, the ultimate like Russian driving experience. You just go in with, on a shitty road forever. The road is literally endless and it never ends. Moskva Baburysk. Okay, so this is close to Moscow. How the fuck would be able to figure this out, bro? This is literally just forest and a shitty road. This could be like my region as well. Wait, so this, I'm assuming this would be like, this is like on the border with Belarus, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, 157 kilometers. All right, uh, some farmlands. Atradne. I think there's a place called like that somewhere around Moscow, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Krasnoyarsk, okay. I, maybe I should just not move? <laughs> okay, what? I shouldn't- Why did I put the center of the city when it was clearly not the center of the fucking city? I don't know, man. I- You never know. You never- Bro, how fucking huge is this country? That Moscow to Krasnoyarsk is bigger than P Lisbon to fucking- This is insane, man. <laughs> Who let them cook, bro? That's just my question. Oh, boy. Okay. Lazareva. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass right now, but I'm- I'm- I'm having- I have an idea that this actually might be close to, like, the south of Russia, to, like, maybe closer to the, like, the Black Sea. I don't know, like, here or something. That was Kaliningrad! God damn, they pulled the old switcheroo on me. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know what Kaliningrad looks like. I've never been to that weird Russian exclave. Okay, here's the thing. Looking at signs is like a little bit too easy, so I just wanna be in a... Let me try and do Russian cities. Major Russian cities. Okay, let's check out this one. To me, this is also easy, man. Oh. 
Wow, I wonder what this is, guys. I wonder where we are. <laughs> It's not like I put these buildings on my thumbnails a million times already. I honestly have no clue. I wonder- No, bro. This- This must- This is like, uh... This must be Minsk, Belarus, bro. But yeah, of course, Moscow, Red Square, right here, I think. 30 meters. Okay, could have been- Could have been better. Could have been closer, but... <laughs> I wanna leave, you know, the Red Square as soon as possible anyway right now, you know. Especially in this, uh, in this economy, in this state of, uh, affairs. <laughs> uh... Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. We're out of the darkness. Yeah, man. I When looking at Russian cities, to be honest, and a lot of them just kind of makes me realize how similar a lot of this looks. And this is like, this literally could be anything, man. Just a gray city. Yeah, you know, classic example of a Russian road, pretty much. You know, this is how they repair, they repair roads in Russia. Everything is like kind of dirty and, you know, not cleaned. This is like an average sort of provincial or uh, maybe a major like city in a region that's not really successful. Yeah, here we have like a little Gopnik dude. <laughs> it destroyed Volga. This does not look like a major city to me, like I'm sorry. Uh, sh Michurina. Oh, okay. This is Yekaterinburg. I know this, I know this. This is some shit area of Yekaterinburg, bro, damn. <laughs> Probably like here or something, yeah. It's not? What the fuck? It's Rostov na Danu. Yeah, not a, not a, you know. <laughs> Considering what was going on in Rostov na Danu recently, I mean, maybe that's why I didn't want to guess it. But uh, the reason why I chose uh, Yekaterinburg is because they also have like a uh, Selmash there, I think, which is like uh, one of these Soviet communist like factory districts. Well, guys, apparently as a Russian, I didn't realize that there might be you know multiple of uh, the same Soviet factory neighborhoods around different cities in Russia. So uh, this is not making my job easier. Okay, we have a big ass river, so that's a sign of something. Okay. Uh Okay. Yenisei. Yenisei. What the fuck is that? I know what Yenisei is. It's like a major river in Russia, but I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't lie. Is this it? No, this would be a uh, Volga, right? Yes, this is Volga River. Shit. Shit. I have no idea what this fucking river is, bro. Fuck. <laughs> is this it? No, it's also up. Shit. Shit. Uh, let's put it here. I don't know. It's Krasnoyarsk again. I don't know shit about Krasnoyarsk, man. That's just one thing I have fucking found out in this video. I don't know shit about Siberia. <laughs> okay, um... I mean, here's the thing. I think if I look at these, like, signs advertising, like, street names or whatever, I think it's gonna be a little bit too easy for me, so... This looks like, uh... This looks already, like, a more better, well-developed well city. Well-developed city for sure. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I've already fucking spoiled for myself. This is Samara. It's, I mean, when you're Russian, it's too easy to get spoiled, man. That billboard right there just said... Yeah, it said tours to Crimea from Samara, basically. So this is Samara. I don't... How do I not know where the fuck Samara... Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, 3.8. Very good. <laughs> no cheating, by the way. No, uh... I can't read Russian, guys. I just guessed that on my own. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh... I mean, we're on a highway again, and I'm just gonna literally see a fucking sign in three seconds. <laughs> and I'm just gonna know where I am. You know, I mean, I'm gonna play the cards that I've been given. So, uh, what is- what does it say? Hmm, <laughs> actually doesn't give us much. Wait, that does look, um... Actually, this kind of looks like in St. Petersburg, like the, uh... Look at these roads, like there's a... It's like really de well developed, basically, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of fucking roads and highways, and I think that that bridge I've been on, actually, when going from the airport in St. Petersburg, so... I don't know, like right here or something. Okay, I guess the side wrong, but I've actually been there. My short-lived, you know, stay in St. Petersburg actually had yielded results, you know, I'm, I'm really good at this. <laughs> okay, I think we should do another one. Doing cities, I think, is way more fun than just doing, like, random buttfuck nowhere forests or whatever. I mean, even the cities all look the same, like, what the- <laughs> you, you know, there's no- there's no going away from it. So this is- looks like any place I've ever seen, of course. Of course. Here's the thing, like, this is one so- also weird, like, I'm getting, like, an uncanny feeling, because, like, I'm certainly sure this is not Chilabians, this is not my hometown, right? However, when I'm looking at all of this, like, I get the feeling as if, like, I've been here. Because just the... Even this old, like, pre-Soviet architecture and stuff, it's so, like... It's all the same. <laughs> I can't, like, stress it enough how, like, uncanny this feels, man. Okay, okay, 16 seconds, what is this? Lenin? A, a, a statue of Lenin on the main square of the city. Who would've fucking thought, guys? Who would've thought? <laughs> What city is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just not gonna guess, I guess. Yeah. Okay. 
Yaroslavl. It looks like any other Soviet city, like who the fuck knows? I could have guessed it was would be Chelyabinsk. I was actually about to say it was, but uh, it looked too ghetto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yet another but bumfuck nowhere with some ladders. Okay, I see the region actually here, so like I, uh, I'm a cheater, but I don't know what, what 61 is. I have zero clue. I mean, I don't really know. This looks generic. As gen This is like, this is not even the center of the city. This is like a residential like area with people's houses, basically, right? And the thing is, this doesn't even look vaguely Russian at this point. This looks vaguely like post-Soviet. Like, I've been to areas in Georgia, in Serbia, and like other places that look exactly like this. This might be Belgrade. <laughs> Looks like actually the districts I grew up in, but again, I'm not getting much clues here. Uh, Danskie tradicje. Shit, 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 shit. Yes, no, yes. Okay, whatever. Yes, yes. I knew it was Rostov. I don't know. I was just trying to click on this. <laughs> Basically, how I managed to guess is there was like a street sign there, like the traditions of the Don or whatever, right? So it's, it was like a meat butcher shop or something. And Don is like the river where this, uh, where the city where nothing happened recently uh, is situated at. So uh, again, another perfect work of uh, deduction by myself. Totally not reading signs and cheating. <sighs> okay, this, <sighs> this looks rough. <laughs> I have to say, looks kind of rough, uh, this has to be like, I mean, this has to be like some Far East or like, uh, Kamchatka or something, probably, right? Because I can see that all the cars here are also Japanese, basically, so this has to be like, um, and just by the, the way it looks, it's like, really grey, really, really grim, kind of dilapidated, in the middle of nowhere, I'm honestly thinking that this might be like, uh, Kamchatka, so this is probably, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do Petropavlos Kamchatsky right here. I'm goated. What the fuck? 6.8. Round of applause for that one, Johnson. And I didn't even cheat. I didn't even see a single street sign or anything saying that it's Kamchatka. So maybe I do have a little bit of an idea of Russian geography. I don't know, though. I wouldn't make that claim. Okay. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks pretty dilapidated as well. I can't lie. This entire area. Just full of abandoned buildings and like... <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, so this, it says, like, canteen or eatery called, uh, you know, USSR. And they have a little, uh, Lenin. <laughs> I, I love, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. But, uh, can't exactly say that this looks like, uh, you know, not a depressing area in Russia. Mm, I need to come up with an idea what this might be, because, like... Oh my god, no, no, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so, no. I genuinely thought this was Chelyabinsk for one second. Shit, what does that look like? I don't know, I'm just gonna pick, like... Novosibirsk or some shit, probably. Who cares? Oh, it's actually Astrakhan. Okay, it's just 2,600 kilometers, guys. Come on, that's like I that was I, I was almost there. I was close enough. It, it's the same country, guys. And this is uh, this is Saint Petersburg. I mean, like right away, like right away, this is Saint Petersburg. I I, I want to just yeah, of course. I even know like the way the uh, signs look, but I don't know where the fuck Zakharovska ulitsa is. This is the center of Saint Petersburg, though. I'm pretty. Pretty sure. Because, you know, here's the thing. I lived in St. Petersburg for like six months, but, uh, and I walked around the center there and everywhere a lot because I lived actually in the very city center, but, uh, I didn't get that good, you know? I didn't live in the city enough time to actually know all of this, but, uh, um, shit. This is, this is difficult, man. This is for sure difficult. I don't know, man. I, I, my time's running out. Shit. Shit. You're some shit. Who knows? Let's just do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, shit, I see now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, if you know, if not for certain events, maybe if I lived in St. Petersburg for a little bit longer, maybe I would be able to guess this. But right now, you know, 2.9 kilometers is the best I could have done. Okay, guys, now, just to end this video, let's do it real quick. Lightning rounds, okay? Well, I'll be given uh, 40 seconds. I'm gonna give myself 40 seconds, lightning rounds, and uh, let's see how close I get. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, pff, um, uh, bro, what is this? This is like some... What is this? Can I see it? Can I see it? Какой то области? Nah, nah, I can't see it. Shit! No, 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 no! Uh, okay, I'm gonna go just Katzenberg. I don't know why. Ulyanovsk. Alright, I've actually been there or like a... I stopped over there on a train once. Okay, okay, here we are. I'm tired of this, bro. Why does every single one of these look like Chilebisk to me? That is actually insane, bro. Okay, this might be Chilebisk. <laughs> I don't know. It could be literally anything, though. 
I got 14 seconds left, and I think I'm going in some, some fucking, like, area where I'm not gonna be able to figure this shit out. I don't fucking know. Let's just go with shit happens. I'm just gonna go with shit happens for every single one I don't know. Shit! No, 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 no! I didn't get to guess it! Fuck! Okay. Krasnoyarsk. Krasnoyarsk is, like, the bane of my fucking existence in this video, I swear to god. <laughs> okay... Mobius. Morbius, it's Morbin time. Uh... Brr, fuck. Yet another industrial, sh like, shithole neighborhood. Yeah. How am I able to... Okay, that actually, that's actually Moscow, I'm pretty sure, because it looked like um, the street sign there, I saw like a street sign, the way it was on the building, looked like the ones they have in Moscow. Because actually in Russia they have different ones, depending on the city a lot of the time, so... Southern, like, area, like here or something. Guess, guess, guess! <laughs> Five kilometers, I mean, as far as Moscow goes, that's actually pretty fucking good. That's actually pretty good. I'm proud of myself for this one. Okay, uh, shit. What is this? What is this generic city? I'm not gonna pick Chelyabinsk again. Like, this is too much of a joke at this point, bro. Wait, 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 this... Can you move? Please! Just move! Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm sure this is might be actually St. Petersburg. Like, uh, there's some, like, locations that are, like, out of this sensor that are not great looking. Like, here's something. No, no, no! <laughs> it's fucking Astrakhan again. Yeah, I'm really not good at this, am I? St. Petersburg, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, uh... Maybe actually there's no locations that look that bad in St. Petersburg. Alright, and another generic city, guys. I wonder why. I wonder why. Uh, pfft. Yeah, I mean, 40 seconds for this is actually rough. It's actually rough even uh, given the ability to read signs and stuff. Like, this is really rough. Shit, nah, my time is out. My time is out. <sighs> <sighs> and it's Vladikavkaz, right next to Georgia. <laughs> well, I've never done a visa run to Russia from Georgia, and I don't think I will. But uh, if I did, then I would actually end up here. This is actually the closest, you know, major city to actually the uh, border crossing right here between Georgia and Russia. That's the one that actually everybody was crossing when uh, mobilization started in Russia. So uh, there we go, guys. Now we know what Vladikavkaz looks like. The uh, place that everybody who ran for mobilization knows. Alright, guys. So uh, what did we learn from today's video? I guess we learned the fact that so I don't know anything about Russian geography. Also, a lot of Russian cities just look very similar if you just get dropped in the very sense of the city. And I I guess it's kind of a moot point because that happens in America as well. If you get dropped into like a generic suburb or like a generic downtown area with skyscrapers, a lot of the times you're not gonna be able to figure out where you are either. But yes, guys, you can now, you know, make fun of me for not knowing geography of Russia. However, that time when I guessed Kamchatka was actually goaded. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of content. I'm trying to do something new on this channel and hopefully, you know, GeoGuessr is fun to watch. If it is, I actually might do a next video on something like guessing post-Soviet countries or something. And yeah, guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video though. If you guys did enjoy it, then please make sure to slap the like on it. As well, guys, if you want to support me additionally, then you can go to the link down in the description, become a YouTube member. It's like YouTube's own version of Patreon, it's like a monthly thing, and it's the best way to support me. And yeah, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video, though, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.